Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 3 of season 1 of The Witcher. Last time was really really enjoyable. It was really fun. Uh, Geralt and Ciri arrived at Kaer Morhen, the Witcher stronghold, the Witcher castle. That's kind of a mess, kind of a ruin, but it's good enough. And uh, there was a big like celebration basically. It turns out that witchers return to Kaer Morhen during the winter to rest up and repair their gear and prepare for the next season so to speak because apparently monsters also like go into hibernation during winter so there's nothing really for them to do like in the winter. That's how I took it at least. I don't... <sighs> doesn't that feel kind of weird? I don't know. I mean it's one thing if it's Stuff like uh, necrophages that eat dead bodies because you can't dig up bodies or like... But like when it comes to like vampires and ghosts and stuff like like spirits and stuff like that, then why would they go hibernate during the... I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, there was a, like a big uh, gathering of witchers at Kaer Moran and um, this one guy who was kind of fishy, Eskel. It was also a witcher. He came back. He seemed a bit weird, and there was a reason for it. He had been fighting a leshen, a, and uh, a leshy, and it had like infected him. So he was slowly turning into a leshen, and there was a big celebration. And then stuff went wrong, and they had to fight him. He turned in, Eskel turned into a monster, and they had to kill him. Uh, it was it was a really really good episode like i enjoy the larger stories i enjoy the grand sweeping storylines like whatever the series destiny is and the like the nilf guardian invasion and so on or war i guess and and all, like stuff like that uh, but with the witcher i feel like the really the best parts are these smaller stories these basically that i mean functionally it turns into like the the trope of monster of the week kind of and i think the witcher does that so well where it's like Geralt is hired he has to investigate and then he has to fight the monster these smaller stories yeah they just there's something about this world that lends itself very well to those kinds of uh, of stories it's probably uh, for many reasons actually uh, I think part of it is just the nature of the story that Geralt is a, a mercenary uh, a monster a monster killer for hire basically uh, that really works in its favor you know that gives you a great excuse to focus on these smaller more intimate stories so uh, yeah I think we should find out what's going to happen next like at the end of the last ep previous episode, uh, last episode, they started training uh, Siri and Geralt, and I don't know if we're gonna jump forward in time. Maybe not yet, but maybe it will. I don't know, man. Like if they're gonna winter in Kermoran and train, I mean, what's that gonna do for like what's what's that those episodes gonna be like? Uh, like, I think we need to have a time skip, like jump forward a couple of months until like springtime. And by then, I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to find out anyway. So let's let's go find out, shall we? As always, though, before I get started, I just want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, uh, I do these reactions uncut. They're not edited down like here on YouTube. And they're also available uh, in early access. So if that interests you, feel free to check it out. Link is in the description down below. There's also movies and uh, other shows like Avatar The Last Airbender and Supernatural and so on. So if that interests you, yeah, feel free to check it out. So with that, let's get into episode 3 of season 2 of The Witcher. Oh! <laughs> oh, practicing a bit, Siri. I was gonna say it looks like she's made progress and yeah, it does. But she keeps dropping her sword. Practice sword. Are you working on your own gear or are you working on gear for Siri? We'll start fresh tomorrow. I can do it. Oh, this is so cute. 
You need rest. Yes. It's no, it's no good to try to do things when you're tired. Hunger makes for good sauce. Also makes for shitty lunches. What are you seeing, my friend? You are safe here. I don't know. If, I don't know about that, dude. If he's still haunting you. Whose turn is it for lunch? You shouldn't be brave, Siri. Just... Uh, there might be a reason if you're having flashbacks. They might not be flashbacks. They might be visions or... Who even knows? Like, just say what, what's happening. She might not want to because it makes her feel weak, though, or like... I don't know. Would you call a witcher with no brains? Lamba? <laughs> ah! Good one. <laughs> I do really appreciate that uh, they got her some proper clothes to to do this in. A big fancy dress is not gonna help. Leave it alone. What should I? He made his choice. Cost us a brother. <laughs> what? No. Talking about Eskil. Like, that, that was Eskil's fault. He didn't say that he was infected. I haven't seen you this sore since Vesemir tanned our hides for tying that thread to the bumblebee's leg. <laughs> Well, it wasn't the thread that was the problem, it was the jug that we tied to the other end of it. Don't be mean to bumblebees. Fine, one more hour. Then you can hang what's left of me on the medallion tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't see us staying here for the rest of the season. Thank you, Wolf. Doing some aut uh, autopsy. <laughs> this shouldn't have happened. We shouldn't have lost him this way. No, but you did. I know. <sighs> I don't know why. We've got a lab full of alchemical compounds that can change day to fucking night. I'm not going to give up now. I'm not asking you to give up. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how it happened. I, I guess this is not part of what Leshen can do. Ah, back at Aretusa. Uh, you're writing Yennefer. She's not dead though. She'll be. You'll see. You'll see eventually. She's a bit lost now though, without her power. A respected mage, and even he found no indication of their plan to attack. No. They're sneaky. Nor to watch you perform feigned inquisitions to distract from your failures. The Nor oh yeah, they want to just make excuses. <laughs> for why they didn't I don't know take a more active role I was there to study monoliths they hold the history of this continent I think they know if we want to keep our people safe we'll be wise to recognize the enemies in our midst the elves are not oh yeah he was referring to the elves they cannot be trusted oh stop being racist I don't like Stregobor I remember him from the first episode of the first season more than 14 mages, then. 13. Hey, girl! <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, she's so, Tisaya's so happy. Maybe here she can get some help and find out what's wrong with her powers. It's tumultuous. Artorius can feel his grasp on the leadership slipping, and Stregobor is. A fuckhead. <laughs> yes, he is. You are a hero to me and many others. Yeah, but it cost her dearly. And I, for one, will always be grateful for your sacrifice. She just wishes it wasn't such a big sacrifice. Oh, come on, Yennefer, you have to tell her. A place of refuge, where elves can be safe. Oh, Sintra. Not the capital, though, right? Well, I've never known a human to give out the kindness of his heart. Yes, there's a cost. Mm. But if it saves our people... Should meet more people then. Be happy. We're safe here. <laughs> oh, you're not. No, you're not. Come on. <sighs> you fool. Like, I don't know what the threat is going to be. But I know that there will be a threat because just... Like, the fact that she said that we're safe here means that they're not safe there. Is that what you want? I want to do what a witcher does. Yes, but you don't have the mutations and stuff. You're like, you're human. <laughs> and I think she's too old to undergo the mutations. Plus Geralt doesn't want her to, of course. 
Afraid to break a nail, Princess. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if this is a good idea. No, this is definitely not, definitely not a good idea. He doesn't have supernatural reflexes and, and sturdiness and like, she's not superhuman. <laughs> yeah, that probably hurt. Still want to be a witcher? Huh? You're just making her more determined. Now, now you can rest. Burn him on a pyre, I think, Eskel. It's a fitting funeral and, I mean, if he's part tree, as an election, like if he's slightly wooden, then probably a good idea. So he doesn't come back to life in some strange way. Death by mutating lash. Find that in our annals. Yeah, it's weird, I guess. I didn't see it coming. No, it's just, it's as if yeah, like junction I'll come along and change it all again. Yeah, something something like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, leaving him with the wolves. In in Murun Come on, Yennefer, you have to talk to someone. He survived. So did you. How and did Yennefer you? has such fancy outfits. Come on, join us for a swim. It's freezing. Surely the savior of Sodom would know how to heat a pool. She does know how to do that, but the ability <laughs> to do it is missing at the moment. <laughs> I can stay here a while. Yeah. Like yeah, I can imagine. Burned her elven mother. Yes, this is very dramatic, Stregobor. But what's the purpose? Anything to reclaim power. I don't know. I don't trust the stuff he's saying. He's saying. She was trying to rightly recover her throne. You weren't there, boy. No, I'm a historian. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Elvin, just as Yennefer is. So what are you saying? Yennefer's related to Falka? Of course not. Man, I... Oh, I so loathe this Stragobor dude. Her violence etched here. Fiber. Okay, so he has a... Some small excuse for his hateful behavior. We allow our power to be diluted by Elvin blood. Then it will be led to ruin. No, get a fool. Oh, I have so, oh, so low the racists. No one is ever what they see. Including you. So don't trust you, is what you're saying. We'll find a cure for your scars. I'll talk to Tissaia. No. No, oh, come on, just scars, who cares? Although, I mean, I don't know how bad they are. <laughs> She's stubborn, this one. Just take it slowly, it's fine. Just patience. Now this thing, though. This looks a lot more difficult. That drew blood. Admit it. You belong in a castle. Not our keep. <laughs> Oh, you think you did this perfectly the first try? Come on, dude. Francesca. Mm. Thank you for joining me. Of course. That's a, that's a good look on Fringilla. I was told by someone masquerading as Ithling to come here in order to find Dol Blathana. I'm sure that means something, Dol Blathana, but I don't know what... Is that like an ancient elven kingdom or something? We are looked upon as imperialists. Because you are. Black armor and they assume that we are here to destroy the world. No, maybe not destroy the world, but you are imperialists. You're building an empire. I want your partnership. 
The deathless mother may approach. I'm, I thought you already had that. I thought that was kind of settled after the events with the visions and nonsense. I want a place for our future to begin. Yeah, and I'm sure you want independence as well, right? Politics. Requires a certain type of person. Yeah. Calculating. I understand. Amoral. Cold. Oh, that guy. He's still alive. Kahir. Kahir. Kaya. Something like that, right? It seems mages are merciful. <laughs> No, you, I was going to say that you're more use alive than dead. <laughs> I mean, as long as we can keep you, it might be useful in the future. Oh, what's the hurry, my dear? What is it with men lurking about this place? That's a very good question. Of your blood. I prefer Hero of Sodden. Heroes don't go mysteriously missing for a month after battle. We have so much more to talk about. Is this actually happening? If you don't want to chat about your dreams, I, I, I have to say that I do kind of like the fact that uh, Stragobor is being such a, a prick here, because that means that he's like a seasoned villain, it feels like, or I hope that he is that, because that will give us an excuse to get rid of him permanently. And that would make me very happy. Stop! Jennifer. No, it was desire. You will answer to this. Yes, please make him. Please make him suffer. Training's going well then. She is a quick study, if impatient. Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. And if I was ever a burden. What? <laughs> All kids are, but you put up with it. How do you even do this? Oh, okay. There you go. The snow doesn't help as well either, making it slippery. Don't freak out now just because Geralt is here to watch. There you go. Wow, oh, <laughs> stumbled on the finish line. Come on, cheer and stuff. So close. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Oh. And we're to unquestioningly believe that she's here with good intentions. Yes, you are. You claim to want to defend the Brotherhood, then you must also be willing to defend it from threats inside these walls. Oh, be quiet. To prove your innocence, you will have to kill the Nilf Guardian prisoner. Is this Vilkfort's talking or you? Then tell them the truth. You are not a threat because you have lost your magic. Yes. Desire knew. Your pain is my pain. Yeah, you should have just talked to her. She Trish might have been able to Sabrina's bruise were all help okay. somehow. I don't know. Tell me how to save myself. <laughs> I cannot. I don't believe you! Now there must be a way. I would have done anything. But what is lost is lost. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Without it, I'm nothing. No, that's not true. Come on now. When a witcher cracks his skull, all we need to do is stick him in a cot and fill him with Veritum, Spurge, and Hawthorn. Yeah. But you're different, <laughs> you know? You said... We catch fear. That you have to face it, we mustn't just give up. No, but you also have to know when, know when to walk away. I want to be a great fighter. And not just against sacks of straw. Yes, but, I mean, it takes time. You can't just... It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna take time. You can't just wake up and be fantastic. Fighters in my time. Do you know where they are now? did <laughs> because they rushed they pushed too hard too too fast did you just get an idea oh 
why has she hidden that away? Or what's going on? Maybe she didn't hide it, maybe... Yeah, he's smelling something. The Leshen thing is not over with yet. If you have an ulterior motive, you can tell me. I lied to the council. I'm not a spy. I'm leaving for Sintra tomorrow. To help the elves who are migrating, to help people like you. So he is a spy. <laughs> yeah, the demon. When you think about it, what's the first word that comes into your mind? This is cool. Cool, okay. See, I, I said she should just talk about this. If you were to follow that feeling, where would it take you? What? That is a good looking what armor. You destroyed an entire throne room. Yeah. Siri has the same. And I trust you. Good. It's about time. Ooh, this is promising. Eskel's Leshy. Yeah. Spooky. <laughs> Just like she dreamt. What in the world? What in the world are you? What in all that's unholy is that? <laughs> I don't know if peeking is going to help any. <laughs> Let's see if she can call on her power and what that's going to do. Yeah. I wonder what in the world that thing was. It was like it was the human arms slightly uh, threw me off, you know? Can you at least tell me what purpose my death serves now? Absolution. Mine. Yeah. No, not yours. The Enifers. Oh, right, here, oh, the kings. Right, they were coming, because they wanted answers. My advisor Dijkstra says she's worth keeping an eye on. Today, we must unite again against a common enemy. His head will be sent to Sintra to make our voices heard. You're going to ask Yennefer to do that with an axe? That's going to be really hard. I don't think she's going to do it. So that looks, that doesn't look right. Because at the way he's placed right now, she's going to have to go at an angle. Yeah, there you go. I knew it. Like, fighting for your life is one thing, but like, executing someone, that's different. Why save me? Don't flatter yourself. I'm saving me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was episode three of season two of The Witcher. That was fun. Uh, I, mm, I think it's the weakest one of the three we've had so far, but... I also think that's to be expected, right? Because this is more of like setting up, I guess, for future events. I do wonder, I w like this, what this episode really makes me wonder about is if, if this is going to be the story of the season for uh, Ciri and Geralt. Because I don't think that the mystery with the Leshen is over and done with. Like the mystery of what happened to Eskel. Like that whole thing, I think that's going to be the focus of the season for them. It might not be. Like 
it, it's kind of like I hope it won't be, but I fear that it might. Because like I hope it won't be because I don't see how they're going to stretch that out and find enough mystery and questions and like enough for enough stuff needs to happen to like justify the entire season being spent there and I don't see how it can be but that might be I might be completely wrong on that you know because I don't think that this monster whatever it was that showed up and destroyed the lesion I don't know if it actually destroyed the lesion or if the lesion survived that who knows because the only way you're supposed to be able to kill them with was is with fire to the chest it just tore it apart you know so like yeah i don't know it's <laughs> i don't know where this is going i do find the jennifer story interesting uh with this witch or demon or whatever it is the old lady in the hut without windows or without door what was it hut without door i think yeah uh that's interesting to me, and I'm curious to see where that's going to go. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I'm, like, curious about story uh, threads that they're setting up here. Like some, like like I said, like the, the, the lesion. Is that done? I don't think so, because that wasn't fire. This monster that showed up, what was that about? What's that monster, and what's the significance of that monster being there? Um, is there more of those monsters? Because Geralt killed this one, you know? So, and was that monster relevant to what's happening with what happened with the lesion, uh, with Eskel and stuff? Like, there's yeah, there's a lot of mystery there. I'm really enjoying Yennefer in this show. Like, she is she's a complicated character, <laughs> you know. And um, I think the actress who's playing her is doing a great job, and she has such fabulous outfits. <laughs> <laughs> they're always awesome like Geralt looks really good too uh, but it's different I mean his is more utility but that armor I don't think we've seen that before right that armor was really fancy Siri doesn't have any fancy outfit yet I mean she, di she did have a very fancy dress but a fancy outfit for fighting you know uh, that might come <laughs> sooner or later I guess I mean she's not done growing yet I don't know how old she's supposed to be. Like, I think that the actress playing her is way older than the character is supposed to be in the show. But I don't know how old she's supposed to be in the show. If I were to guess, I think she's supposed to be like 13 or something. Somewhere around there, maybe. Which is why I thought that, like, she would be too old for the mutations and stuff. I mean, Geralt doesn't want her to go through with those. Anyways, but, like, as far as I know, the mutations are done at, like, 6 to 9, somewhere around there. I might be completely wrong on that, but I think that around there is when they do them. I'm assuming that the older um, the person is, the harder it is to change them, you know, into witchers. And there's also a huge failure rate. <laughs> so, yeah, that was episode 3. It's like the show is is looking really good so far. The season is looking to be really enjoyable and I can't wait to see where it goes next. But that is for a different day. For today, I am done and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out.